Shoot any? Tyler finally got his duck. A little single came in, dumped him. Good job, Ty. Greenhead. Yeah, it's a greenhead, man. <laughs> so I put a, uh, a fake uh, jewelry on the other day when I dropped one when I was hunting with these guys. He's like, no way. And then he reads like Primos. <laughs> Let's see it for the camera. Good job. Man, it's been uh, been a rough day. They uh, they flew in the weather is horrible, but something about our setup they just did not uh, they didn't like. So they're flying high, and I'm you know these new these new chokes. I mean, when I say when I say high, they they definitely weren't. Most let's put it this way: most people would have shot, but we are used to them being feet down. Half the group landed in the decoys, and it's a little bit spoiled, but. We probably should have had three limits today if we uh, if we had you know shot at some of the birds that were just circling. But heck of a lot funner to have them feet down and back pedaling back up. So anyway, definitely worth it. Um, some days you win, some days you lose, but I think it's a I think it's a win if we're not at work and we're out here playing. So. Nice, dude. dude. I'm telling you, it's not about the ducks, right? It's not about one of these mojos died charged it last night but anyway it's not about the ducks it is about the raspberry field donuts and the sun setting actually it's just about the raspberry donuts take them Anything? Well, boys and girls, that is all she wrote. Um, after that last one, we did not have any come in, but we still at least got one limit. So all in all, good day. Um, we'll get everything, all the decoys, I guess they're over here, all the decoys cleaned up, put away, and uh, go ahead and do a catch cook and clean or a shoot cook and clean so um yeah so we'll hurry and get all this cleaned up head home and i'll show you how to uh get the breasts off with the skin on and then i'll show you how to do an awesome brined smoked duck breast so phenomenal end it with the sunset not a bad way to end. Lots of green. Did fairly well on the ducks, not as good as we hope, but still gotta manage to limit. So um, I'm gonna show you real quick. We're just gonna do a catch, clean, and cook. Um, there's a couple different ways that you can clean these birds. Um, I'm going to be smoking them uh, after they have sat in a brine. So that being said, we're going to want to leave the skin on the breast, okay? 
Um, if you choose to do it without the skin on, um, you basically would just feel for that bone and you can kind of pull that skin and then just pull it out, cut along the breastbone. So what we're gonna do though, uh, again, since we're gonna leave the skin on just cause it keeps them more moist uh, when we're smoking them, we're just gonna go ahead and just, just take just the breast um, feathers off just to get that area clean real quick. Hey Gunner, bring it back away. Hey, they're uh, they're a little bit mad because they didn't get to go today. So this process, uh, this this way takes you know quite a bit more time just because you have to get it nice and clean. So I'll go and clean those up when I'm rinsing them off, but basically you're going to want to, you know, just get the whole, the whole breast exposed with that skin. Okay. So if you want to come over here real quick. Okay. So there's that breastbone right there. Okay. So if we had taken off the skin, you would just cut down each side. Um, you know, you peel that skin away and cut down each side, but where we're leaving that skin on, we're still going to cut down. There we go. So I'm going to cut down and just, you're just going to follow that, that breastbone. Okay. You just want to stay right up against that breastbone because you're going to want to keep as much meat on there as possible. Okay. Looks like this one got hammered pretty good. So you can just take this little, I just called a uh, loin, I guess, and set that aside. Okay. So now we got that breast off. You're just going to poke that through, cut it up. Like so, we'll clean the remaining feathers up off that skin. But um, again, you're gonna want to leave. If you're gonna leave the skin on, it helps keep it a little bit more moist. So, but like I so said, we'll clean that up when we wash that. Just set that on the snow for now. Now the other side, I'm actually gonna show you if you were to gonna do it the other way, which is peel that skin over, which is the easier way. You wouldn't have to wouldn't have to pluck it if you're gonna do that. Now. On this particular recipe where we smoke it, if you decide to do it without the skin, you are going to want to top it with a piece of bacon, just for the sheer fact that it will um, dry out without that skin. But if you top it with bacon, it does well. So again, got that little inner tenderloin. Put that right there. Got that cut. And you, just, you just follow that bone down. So you get to the bottom, cut through, back up. Helps if you have a sharper knife too. This is one of seen better days and I can't find my sharpening stone and had to get this done. So, okay, so there's that, set it on nice. So anyways, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these finished up uh, the kids are actually asleep. Hold on. The kids are actually asleep, so um, I'll probably skip the part of the brine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these breasts, clean them off, put them in a gallon-sized bag, um, fill it with water, and I'll probably do anywhere from a half a cup to a cup of. Well, on this I'll probably do a half a cup of salt. Um, I'll do a half a cup of sugar, and then I'm going to do uh, pickling spices. You can do seasonal, garlic, you know, any spice you really hate. Any spice you really want, 
Um, I'll brine them for 24 hours, and then we will go ahead and get them on the smoker tomorrow. We'll continue the video uh, there so you can see the process there. So anyway, appreciate you guys uh, watching. If you guys like these, let me know. Um, also, if you'd like me to cook the duck in some different ways, let me know what your favorite ways to prepare duck, and we'll do that on the next uh, Catch, Clean, and Cook. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video, and we'll be back tomorrow when we smoke it. Okay, guys, so we have had <clears throat> the duck soaking for two days. Uh, basically, we did half of a cup of salt, half of a cup of sugar, and then this is just pickling spice. You can pick it up at any place. Um, and we did, I don't know, probably three to four tablespoons of pickling spice. Um, soaked it in just a, a uh, gallon bag with water, and again, soaked it for two days. You could get away with uh, doing it for one day. Anyway, half a cup of uh, salt, half cup of sugar. We, we did, what do we do, seven ducks on there, so 14 duck breasts. Um, so let me show you what I've got going on here. So I've already I've already started, all the, all the previous ones are layered. So I ran out of time, it was a long day hunting that day. Um, and so I did not pluck and, skin, and leave the skin on. I ended up just, uh, just pulling the, the skin off and the breasts off. So uh, what we do from here is we take some ground coriander and we just sprinkle it just lightly okay and then uh, onion powder and again just very very lightly okay the next one we do is garlic okay so since we did not do uh, then with the skin on which by the way, I love the skin on it leaves a nice crispy uh, Fatty flavor on the mallards if it's a diver you definitely do not want to leave the skin on um, But then in place of the skin to make sure they don't dry out We just go ahead and put bacon on top and that fat will just melt down uh, Render down on that <clears throat> those breasts and keep them nice and moist. Okay So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop them in the smoker. I'm gonna do a mixture of uh, uh, We'll do cherry as well as apple wood, and I do it at 225. I've done it 225 to 235. Um, I prefer it at 225. Usually takes about two and a half hours. We want to do the biggest breast to an internal temperature of 135 uh, before we pull them out of the smoker. And then we go wrap them in tin foil, let them rest for 10 minutes. So basically, what we're trying to do here with the pickling spices and that that higher salt content, um, we're trying to almost replicate kind of a smoked. Um, pastrami or even a smoked corned beef um, anyway it'll turn out phenomenal basically we're gonna serve it on a bed of probably wild rice or a bed of rice um, with some we do a big garden every year and so we do we take cabbage and we make uh, homemade sauerkraut so we'll go ahead and do homemade sauerkraut with this and it'll end up phenomenal um, usually we'll take it on as gravy and mix that over on top so Anyways, I'm gonna get them in the smoker and we'll be right back with the final product. See you guys. Okay guys, so it is done. <laughs> and I am, yep, no, go on, get down here. Yawn stoked, even there wanting some. So um, when you do that 135, as you can see, it leaves it just an absolute gorgeous, rare to medium rare, especially after you rest it. So I'm just gonna simply slice somewhat thin here oh, wow. i know it looks good doesn't it linker go you're gonna eat it yeah. do you like duck mm -hmm. okay hold on buddy um and my hands are clean so but basically Daddy. here you can have this piece right here how's that sound tell you what there's nothing better than having mm, you like it Nothing better than having your kids and your family not only enjoy to hunt with you, but enjoy to eat it with you. So, uh -oh, that bacon across there. Uh -oh. Okay, we'll get you more, okay? I go oh my. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, you can. Okay, let's leave mom alone, okay? 
basically. So this is home. This is homegrown cabbage out of the garden that we uh, made some sauerkraut with. Just add that because that nice salty, salty uh, mixture of both go. And then this is just au jus and just dribble across. You're going to eat it? Is this for you? Good thing we have 13 other breasts, huh? Okay, you can try some cabbage. Good thing we have 13 other breasts because you're going to eat it all. Uh, if you want to, okay, we'll get some for mama. If you want to zoom in on this real quick and, and that is all done guys. So anyways, we appreciate you uh, watching the hunt. I tell you what, that was my first hunt that I've actually filmed myself. <laughs> and uh, hold on buddy, you got to share with Gunner for a minute. My hat goes off to you cameramen or women. It is, uh, it is tough. I missed 90, I think I only got a couple of the shots. Uh, in play it is tough not only concealing yourself but getting the shot and figuring out which person's shooting but anyways um let me know uh with a thumbs up if you guys like this video and like i said let me know how you guys want to see the next uh duck prepared if you guys would like to see a whole bird maybe plucked and then cooked uh, as a whole with skin on kind of like you would a turkey from the store um i'd love to know what you guys' ideas are also let me know what your favorite duck is to shoot i personally i don't think there's anything better than shooting a, a green head that's locked up uh you know feet down coming into a cornfield but anyway i know some of you guys out there hunt sea ducks i think that would be awesome always want to do that so anyway catch you guys later